Audible.com is a leading provider of audiobooks with more than 150,000 downloadable titles across all types of literature, including fiction, nonfiction, periodicals, and yes, oh yes, even yoga. Audible has free apps so you can download and listen to your iPhone, Android, Windows Phone, Kindle Fire, plus the iPod and over 500 MP3 players. Unlike a streaming service or rental service, with Audible, you own your books. If you choose a book and you decide you don't like it, no worries. You can exchange it for another title anytime. No questions asked. So download a free book of your choice today at audiblepodcast.com slash yogamazing. Welcome, everyone, to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I'm Chaz. I'm your host. And welcome back to my kitchen. You know, every year when we get a fresh year to start, I always like coming back to the kitchen because what we do with our yoga or with our fitness practice really depends upon what we put on our body. So in this episode, I'm going to not only talk about some of my favorite treats that I like to eat, but we're going to have a part two to this where we're going to go over a lot of detoxing and vitamins that you can take as well. So now let's get right into some of this stuff right here. People are always asking me, uh, emails or Facebook or even people that I know that are friends, you know, what are some good things that I can eat or uh, after I practice yoga or just on a daily basis, some snacks or something that's healthy and it's not going to give give me, um, uh, you know, a lot of weight or it's going to be sugar-coated. So, you know, this, this is stuff that I pretty much eat on a daily basis. Now, uh, a lot of the things that I do... Uh, like after I work out or I do yoga, uh, you know, you want to make sure you get some protein in your body. So I did my own scientific test, which isn't scientific at all. And I went out and bought a bunch of different types of turkey jerky. Now, I know there's a lot of people out there who are, who are vegans. And I'm not vegan, and nor are my ears pointy. That, you'll, you'll get it. And so what I did is I went out and bought a bunch of these. And I went and um, tried every one of them. And uh, they're really good, if, you know, you've just got to get used to jerky if you've ever had it. So what I want to tell you about is some of these that I went out and got. Now, this is one uh, perky jerky, which is actually the lowest that I found in sodium content. And uh, it's high in protein, and it's something that you can eat really quickly. You can even put it in the car or after your yoga practice. And a lot of times people would take a, um, a protein shake or something like that, or if they need something quick, they can, they can get some jerky. Uh, the lowest one that I could find in sodium here, but it was a little bit moister than I um, had found, and I did like it, but it's not my favorite. We're going to get to my favorite here in a second. Um, then we have this one. This one came from, it's a peppered turkey jerky, and this one came from Whole Foods, and this one, you know, I think most of these hit around the 370 point for sodium, so I liked it. I liked the pepper on it but it was too high in sodium for me because that's one thing that said that to be careful when you're doing jerky is find some low sodium. Uh, then these two right here, uh, Jack Links, and they had a chicken version and a turkey. And on the turkey jerky, 490 for sodium. So this one is a big no for me, but it was good. Uh, a little tough, but it was good. Uh, this one is the same. This is Jack Links, but it was chicken. This was like 270, 280 uh, for the sodium. So the thing I was looking for the most was, you know, of course it's going to have protein. That's a given. But sodium level for me was real important uh, be just because I don't want to have something that has all that salt in it. Then I come down to what I've got here is um, Trader Joe's. And I, I tell you what, the, this, is, this is my favorite. And the sodium, it was really down to these two. This one had 190 sodium. This one has like 280. Uh, but like I said, this had a little bit of a squishy texture to it. And the smell of it was okay, but it, it just didn't, it just wasn't appetizing enough for me. Uh, but the, the uh, Trader Joe's turkey jerky was by far the one that I would recommend. And uh, it's, it's wonderful. And the price is reasonable. And they're, they use minimal, minimal ingredients. So the less that's in a product, the better for all of us. So there's my take on all the turkey jerky. My personal favorite is at Trader Joe's. So if you get a chance, uh, go get one of those. So, and no, no, nobody's actually paying me to say any of this. Stuff. It's just my own personal opinion. And then we, let's get into talking about some bread. I use Ezekiel bread. Uh, it's, whole it's whole grain sprouted, and it's a, uh, there's protein in it. And the good thing it's about this bread over using like a regular wheat bread 
is the sugar, the sugar content that is within bread. And the, the funny thing is, is that a lot of people don't realize is that if you eat whole wheat bread, that's almost uh, like eating a candy bar in many cases. It'll spike your insulin. So that's why I moved away from whole wheat bread and I got Ezekiel bread because it's healthy for you, it's whole grain sprouted, and it has protein in it. So if you're going to make a sandwich uh, with something, getting into that with some peanut butter, I would use Ezekiel. Now with the peanut butter I found, uh, I did a lot of, you know, research. I get kind of nutty, but I'm pun intended. And I found this one, which is at a Whole Foods. And like I said, less is more. And this one is a creamy peanut butter. And it's CB's Nuts. Right there, CB's Nuts. And it's uh, only one ingredient, and that's uh, roasted peanuts. That's it, nothing else. If, if you see a lot of the stuff that's on the shelf in stores, there's a lot of sugar added to it, and it could be cane sugar, uh, sugar, sucrose, whatever, and it's um, so it's got some bad stuff in it. It's good, don't get me wrong, I like a lot of peanut butter, but I really like this one a lot. And if you don't like peanut butter as an option, there's days where I use almond butter, and this is a uh, Mara Natha, it's a no stir almond, and that's a, um, a good almond butter. But you know, there's days where I just love peanut butter. I grew up on peanut butter, and so um, I'll use this with this, some of this Ezekiel bread right there and uh, make myself a peanut butter sandwich. Now let's get into coconut oil. Everybody's learning about all the benefits of coconut oil. In fact, my daughter has used this not only, uh, you know, she'll, she'll put it on her arms and face for, for lotion, but she's also used it in her hair. Now I don't recommend that you, uh, no, you can do that. <laughs> but um, I use this for cooking. I don't use it for, for that reason. And I also put it in um, like my smoothies because the, the coconut oil has, it increases your energy and, it, and it's gonna help you burn off a lot of that fat within your body. And it also supports um, your hunger. So it uh, slows down, what's the word I'm looking for? It uh, decreases your appetite. And this is really good. And again, uh, the least ingredients, and I found it at Trader Joe's. It's a great product. Again, I've tried some other ones, uh, but this is the one, because there's a specific way that this one, it's. Uh, it's cold pressed organic and it's virgin coconut oil. So bingo. Something that everyone should have: apple cider vinegar. Uh, this is something that is. And there's so many different things that this. Just look up apple cider vinegar. Do a shot of this every day, and it helps lower your blood sugar, and it's going to lower your insulin level as well. So it's going to it's going to help with a lot of those. But there's tons of things. What makes apple cider vinegar so good? Um, another thing that I like. These are just some. You know, I love crackers, and I don't want to eat just, you know, regular crackers again because the way that they're formulated. And this is made with a whole grain rye wheat. So it's just one, one, one two ingredients, that and salt. So between this, these two and these and this to, to make like a little peanut butter thing, or even better, um, I'll put turkey on here with a little bit of mustard. So uh, great little things here. You can pick most, most of these things you can pick up pretty much anywhere in different stores except the ones that are branded specifically. Uh, then I did a search for a, uh, a clean uh, a bar that I could like eat after a workout. And I looked all around and I was looking for something that had a lot of fiber in it and it was very, very low in sugar. And this one actually uses stevia, so the sugar content is like only one gram. And so it kind of, this, this bar balances it out. And I've only been able to find these at kind of like uh, fitness places, you know, like a GNC or a vitamin shop or something like that. Uh, the price is reasonable, but like I said, and the, this one is, it's like a cookies and cream bar. And I swear, you'd be amazed that you're actually eating something and, and you, you'd be thinking that it's junk food. But it's not. It's really healthy. It's good. And um, I, I really like these. I tried a bunch of other ones. Uh, but if, you know, if you try and you go into a store and you look at some of the, make sure that you look at the packaging. I mean, I go in there and I, I'm reading everything on there, what's in there and what's good and what's bad. And if there's something bad and I just put it back on the shelf. So a lot of this is just your own personal research, but if you go into these stores and you find these other brands that you like, they're loaded with like 23 grams of sugar at least. And it's crazy. I mean, that's like eating a candy bar. So why even bother eating? Why don't you just eat a candy bar? That'll be healthy for you. So these are a few of the things that I like to uh, eat and nibble on. Now next, we're gonna get into a lot of the vitamins and how you can utilize this whole system to make you a healthier and happier person, all right? Give me a second. I'll be right back.
All right, everybody, welcome back. Now we're gonna get into some supplements and some other things that we can use uh, for options for eating as well. So now let's get right into this. And first of all, I'd like to thank sunshinehealthdirect.com. They're a sponsor of Yoga Amazing, and I use their product, and it's awesome. That's why I have them with me, and that's why I'm telling you about them. And they use Nature's Sunshine products, and Nature's Sunshine is over 40 years old, and they have the best products out there. They're you know high quality. They use nothing but the best. So I'm glad I've got them here as a sponsor, and um, I'm going to share this with you. And at the beginning of every year, everybody always talks about getting cleanses. So there's multiples here that we have. We have the Dieter's Cleanse, we have the Daha Cleanse, and we have the all-time favorite Clean Start Cleanse, which actually comes in apple cinnamon and wild berry. Now let's get into the supplements. We have the cortisol formula. Think of it as doing yoga in a pill format, because when you do yoga, it helps you to de-stress and keep your cortisol low. And that's what this one does, helps you to lower your stress levels. And then right here, we have fat grabbers. If you like to eat some fatty food on occasion, well, the fat grabbers will help that not to be absorbed into your system. And then right here, if you like sweets, Sweet FX will help you to curb that appetite of the wanting a sweet. So very useful there. And then right here, we have CLA, which is going to help you have lean body muscle mass. And then right here, we have UltraTherm, which is going to help you burn fat throughout the day. And then right here we have sticksated, so like something to have between your meals that'll keep you safe, you know, keep you full until your next meal. So we have a great system here to help you to not only cleanse, but also to help you curb a lot of those cravings and get that body looking good. Now let's talk about our meal replacement plans. We're gonna start off with Nature's Harvest, which is a green superfood. And I tell you what, it is excellent with banana and pineapple juice. So that's great. And then my favorite po protein is love and peas. And they come in a regular and one that is sugar free. And what I like about this is the taste is incredible. It's a vanilla. And when I take this with like an almond milk or even water, I, it just has such a great flavor. And what I like about it too is it doesn't bloat me like if I'm taking a whey protein. And that's one of the reasons why I take the split pea protein. Now let's get into the next protein, which is a soy based product, which is Smart Meal. And the most favorite is vanilla. So they got vanilla, chocolate, and chai. So if you're into that, we have that here as well at sunshinehealthdirect.com. And then right here, we're gonna close it out with, if you like the whey, if you want that whey nutrition, then you've got it here in a chocolate and a vanilla. So the great thing about the meal replacement plans, there's something here for everyone. And especially what I like personally for me is I really like the split pea and I also like the green superfood. I'm gonna love that. And then for my daily needs, nutritional needs, I take these right here. This is the Super Trio, and they come in little packets. You take these every day, and it gives you all your, your needs, your amino acids, your vitamins are all right here. So with, the, with all this being said, I'd like to thank everyone for hanging out because our health is extremely important. And I'd like to thank uh, sunshinehealthdirect.com for being a sponsor of Yoga Amazing and keeping me healthy and fit as well. So I hope all this knowledge about these vitamins and supplements and cleanses and some of the food and snacks I talked about earlier is gonna help you to become a healthier and happier person this year. So I'll see you in the next episode of Yoga Amazing. Namaste.